Adjective slash adverb confusion. Adjectives describe nouns and pronouns. Adverbs describe verbs, adjectives, and other adverbs. Apostrophe. Writer detaches self from reality and addresses some abstraction or personification that is not physically present. Alliteration. Repetition of initial consonant sounds. X. The big bad bear buried bones in the backyard. Illusion. A reference to something well-known that exists outside the literary work. An expression designed to call something to mind without mentioning it explicitly. An indirect or passing reference. Allegory. A story in which people represent an idea or generalization about life. A story, poem, or picture that can be interpreted to reveal a hidden meaning, typically a moral or political one. Anacoluthon. Analogy. A comparison of objects or ideas that appear to be different but are alike in some important way. Antagonist. A character or a group of characters which stand in opposition to the protagonist, commonly referred to as the villain, but in some cases an antagonist may exist within the protagonist that causes an internal conflict or moral conflict within their mind. Antithesis a rhetorical device in which two opposite ideas are put together in a sentence to achieve a contrasting effect emphasizes the idea of contrast by parallel structures of the contrasted phrases or clauses. Three types of antonyms. Gradable, complementary autoantonyms. Anastrophe. The deliberate changing of normal word order for emphasis. X. Bright he was not form of literary device wherein the order of the noun and the adjective in the sentence is exchanged. Creates a dramatic impact and lends weight to the description offered by the adjective. Aphorism. A statement of truth or opinion expressed in a concise and witty manner. Term is often applied to philosophical, oral, and literary principles. Concise statements stating a truth or observation. Proverbs, maxims, adages, and cliches are forms of aphoristic statements. Anticlimax. Rhetorical device which can be defined as a disappointing situation or a sudden transition in discourse from an important idea to a ludicrous or trivial one. Apocalypse Oppositive A noun or pronoun often with modifiers set beside another noun or pronoun to explain or identify it. A positive phrase usually follows the word it explains or identifies but may also precede it, usually offset with comma, brackets, or dashes. Archetype a typical character, an action or situation that seems to represent such universal patterns of human nature, a detail, image, or character type that occurs frequently in literature and myth and is thought to appeal in a universal way to the unconscious and to evoke a response. Asmins Repetition of vowel sounds, rhyming the vowels. Ascenditon Authentic writing any writing a student might do for some real-world purpose, a purpose other than demonstrating his writing ability to a teacher. Basque The only surviving language of Western Europe's pre-Indo-European past. Indo-European refers to the geographical area from India to Western Europe with later expansion to the New World. The Basque language is spoken in a region of Spain and is linguistically very complicated. Buildings Roman A type of story which details the education, development, and maturation of a young protagonist. This can be from early childhood to adulthood or from one level of understanding to another. The development of the character is the key, coming of age. Blank verse Book Pass an instructional method for introducing SS to a variety of works in a short period of time in order to encourage interest. Burlesque Capitonym A word that is spelled the same but has a different meaning when capitalized. Caricature 
a representation in which the subject's characteristic features are deliberately exaggerated to present someone or something in a deliberately distorted way device used in descriptive writing and visual arts where particular aspects of a subject are exaggerated to create a silly or comic effect. Character Types Sajura Capitalization Rules Catastrophe Tragic denouement in a play is especially a tragedy, the scene in a tragedy which includes the death or moral destruction of the protagonist. Catharsis In literature, is used for the cleansing of emotions of the characters, can also be any other radical change that leads to emotional rejuvenation of a person, Greek word meaning cleansing. Cause and Effect Writing organization usually happen in time order. Action equals greater than result. Sento A poem that has been put together from other lines of poems. The word sento is Latin for patchwork. Chronological order Writing organization in this pattern, ideas are presented in the order in which they occur in time. Words and phrases such as weeks before, when, then, relate events sequentially. Syncane A short poem consisting of five usually unarmed lines containing, respectively, two, four, six, eight, and two syllables, tells a small story. Citation MLA APA Conceit Cliché A worn-out idea or overused expression refers to an expression that has been overused to the extent that it loses its original meaning or novelty may also refer to actions and events which are predictable because of some previous events. Clause a group of related words containing a subject and a verb unlike a phrase which is a group of related words that does not contain a subject verb relationship types of clauses dependent independent subordinate adjective restrictive non restrictive elliptical coordinate nominal subordinate clause cannot stand alone and begins with a subordinating conjunction Adjective clause. Also called adjectival or relative clause meets three requirements. One contains a subject and a verb. Two begins with relative pronoun. Three functions as an adjective. Restrictive and non-restrictive clauses. Non-restrictive clause is not essential to the meaning of the sentence. It can be removed from the sentence without changing its basic meaning, often set apart from the rest of the sentence by a comma or a pair of commas. Elliptical clause Coordinate clause Two or more clauses with equal grammatical importance One of two or more clauses of equal status in a sentence Nominal clause A clause that fills a noun phrase slot A clause which functions as a noun For example, what she said is awful Clustering organizational tool Nonlinear starts with a single word idea which is says build upon. As they enlarge the word bank, patterns might become apparent which will help with organizing paragraphs. This is a good small group or class activity also. Cognate Words that are related and have the same origin or root word. Semicolon Used to join independent clauses in compound sentences that do not have coordinating conjunctions and commas as connectors. Words like however, moreover, thus, and therefore are often used as connectors in these sentences. Concentric circles A highly effective exercise in agendas where building relationships is important, an effective way to encourage one-on-one -on -one communication between SS. Concept mapping Instructional strategy that requires learners to identify, graphically display and link key concepts, visually illustrates the relationships between concepts and ideas. Most concept maps represent a hierarchical structure. Concrete poetry 
term is used to describe poetry in which the arrangement of words on the page is as important as more traditional poetic elements, mostly a modern phenomenon. Conferencing Types of conflict Physical, person v nature social, person v society, person v person internal psychological, person v self metaphysical, person v fate or deity. Subordinating conjunction. Correlative conjunction. Always come in pairs and connect words of equal importance. Paired conjunctions that link balanced words, phrases, and clauses, both and, either or, just as so, neither nor, not only but, whether or. Connotation All the meanings, associations, or emotions that a word suggests a meaning that is implied by a word apart from the thing which it describes explicitly. Words carry cultural and emotional associations or meanings in addition to their literal meanings or denotations. Consonants Refers to repetitive sounds produced by consonants within a sentence or phrase. Repetition often takes place in quick succession. Contronym A word that can be an antonym of itself, a word that can mean the opposite of itself, exclip, dust. Closet drama A dialogue-based form of literature that reads as a play but is not intended to be performed. Couplet A pair of successive lines of a verse, especially a pair that rhyme and are the same length. Creo a stable, natural language developed with grammatical rules from the mixing of parent languages. Dactyl Slash geometrical foot consisting of one stressed followed by two unstressed syllables. The words poetry and basketball are both dactylic. Denotation Literal or dictionary meanings of a word in contrast to its connotative or associated meanings. Denouement Resolution of the issue of a complicated plot, often in the epilogue and outcome or solution, the unraveling of a plot. Dialect Refers to a variation of a language that is a characteristic of a particular group of languages speakers a regional variety of a language distinguished by vocabulary, spelling, and pronunciation. Diction a speaker or writer's choice of words, a style of speaking or writing determined by the choice of words by a speaker or writer. Discipline-based inquiry The practice of learning about a writing form by dissecting it and navigating its parts. It involves analyzing, questioning, and forming conclusions from examples of the writing mode. Discourse Donald Graves' Six Writing Principles Writing time, modeling, ownership, conferencing, revising, post-writing, publishing. Donald Graves Effect v. Effect Effect equals a result of something or the ability to bring about a result. Effect equals to produce a change in something. Parallelism Present two ideas that are equal in some way, such as in emphasis, in use, or in fact, most common in lists, such as those denoting sequences of related activities, phrases, or sentences of a similar construction meaning placed side by side, balancing each other. Elegy A type of lyric poem which laments the loss of something or someone. Emendation Emendation seeks to restore a text to its most authentic form. A text can be changed over the course of many years, and these changes may alter its meaning. For example, the love of money is the root of all evil is often misquoted as money is the root of all evil. A correction. Engemment Use of a line of poetry whose sense and rhythmic movement continues to the next line occurs when one line ends and continues on to the next line to complete meaning a run-on line of poetry in which logical and grammatical sense carries over from one line into the next. Epigram A short, pithy saying, usali in verse, often with a quick, satirical twist at the end. Subject is usually a single thought or event. Candy is dandy, but liquor is quicker. Epiphany 
moment in the story where a character achieves realization, awareness, or a feeling of knowledge after which events are seen through the prism of this new light in the story. Sudden eye-opener regarding the nature of a person or situation. Etymology Epistolary novel a novel in letter form written by one or more of the characters. The novelist can use this technique to present varying first-person points of view and does not need a narrator. Use of documents letters to advance plots. Existentialism Exhortation A strong urging or pleading. An address or communication emphatically urging someone to do something. Exposition a literary device used to introduce background information about events, settings, characters, etc. to the audience or readers. Literal meaning is showing forth the essential background information at the beginning of a literary work. Fair Use Doctrine Teachers are allowed to make a limited number of copies of copyrighted works for use in the classroom. Allows a user to make a copy of all or part of a work within specific parameters of usage, even if permission has not been granted. Faulty parallelism. Two or more parts of a sentence are equivalent in meaning but not parallel or grammatically similar in form. Faulty predication. Subject doesn't fit logically with the rest of the sentence. In other words, the subject can't be or do the verb. Examples. The purpose of the movies was invented to entertain people. A water spout is when a tornado is over water. The reason for low sales is that prices are too high. Figure of speech A device used to produce figurative language. The various uses of language that depart from customary construction, order, or significance, using words in distinctive ways. Anaphora FOS, repetition of the same word or phrase at the beginning of successive clauses or verses. Chiasmus FOS, a statement consisting of two parallel parts in which the second part is structurally reversed repetition in which certain words, sounds, concepts, or syntactical meanings are reversed or repeated in reverse order, may heighten paradox. Euphemism FOS, inoffensive ways of saying something offensive. Irony FOS, use of words to convey the opposite of their literal meaning, a statement or situation where the meaning is contradicted by the appearance or presentation of the idea. Situational irony FOS, discrepancy between what the reader expects to happen and what actually happens, an outcome that turns out to be very different from what was expected. Dramatic irony FOS, discrepancy between a character's perception and what the reader audience knows to be true. Irony that occurs when the meaning of the situation is understood by the audience but not by the characters in the play. Cosmic Irony FOS, the irony of fate misfortune is the result of fate, chance, or deity when a writer uses God, destiny, or fate to dash the hopes and expectations of a character or humankind in general. Socratic irony FOS, feigned ignorance of the other's situation. Socrates pretended ignorance of a subject in order to draw knowledge out of his students by a questions and answer device. Verbal irony FOS, discrepancy between what is said and what is meant. Lydites FOS, an understatement in which an affirmative is expressed by negating its opposite. Pun FOS, a play on words, sometimes on different sense of the same word and sometimes on the similar sense or sound of different words. Understatement FOS, writer or speaker deliberately makes a situation seem less important than it is. flesh Kincaid formula is the most widely used method to assign a level of difficulty to a text. It uses the average number of syllables per word and the average length of sentences. Simplest approach to assess the grade level of the reader. Frame story 
one in which the main story organizes a series of shorter stories it's the big overarching story that contains all of the little stories within it. It provides the background story that gives the real story an excuse to be told. Free verse Poetry that does not have a regular meter or rhyme scheme based on normal pauses and natural rhythmical phrases as compared to the artificial constraints of normal poetry. Foreshadowing Literary device in which a writer gives an advance hint of what is to come later in the story helps readers develop expectations. Formative assessment Gerund A form that is derived from a verb and functions as a noun. Watching you play baseball is fun. Verbal that ends in ing and functions as a noun. A gerund phrase consists of a gerund plus modifier, object, and or complement. Grammar types Descriptive Naming parts of speech Comparative Comparing different languages Functional The behavior of language when it is properly functioning Graphic organizers Grotesque Hamartia The flaw in character which leads to the downfall of the protagonist in a tragedy Inherent defect of shortcoming in the hero of a tragedy who is in other respects a superior being favored by fortune Harlem Renaissance Holistic scoring Impressionistic method based on theory that a whole piece of writing is greater than the sum of its parts. Essays are read for a total impression they create rather than individual aspects. Grammar, spelling, and organization should not be considered as separate entities. Homophones Words that sound the same but spell differently in different meanings. Homonyms Two words that sound alike and are spelled alike but have different meanings. Homographs Words which are spelled the same way but may have different pronunciations and have different meanings for example bow and bow. Hyperbole Exaggeration of ideas for the sake of emphasis. Unreal exaggeration to emphasize the real situation. Introduction Body Conclusion Strategy an organizational method of ensuring that SS have sufficient supporting details in their essays and paragraphs. Inversion A reversal of the usual order of words to achieve a particular effect of emphasis or meter, also known as anastrophe. KWL chart can be used to document what SS know, what they want to know, and what they learned. An effective way of collecting data and activating SS prior knowledge in order to effectively plan instruction that meets curricular objectives. Limerick Has five lines. Rhyme scheme is AVA. Linguistics The formal study of the structures and processes of a language. Literary elements Characterization, setting, tone, plot structure, mood, tone, attitude of the author or narrator, determined through analysis of the stylistic elements such as diction, details, imagery, and figurative language. Logical fallacy, an error in reasoning that renders an argument invalid. Ad hominem. An argument based on the feelings of an adversary rather than on the merits of the case. A logical fallacy that involves a personal attack. Attack the person instead of the argument. Ad populum. Also known as bandwagon. An argument made saying if something is popular then it must be right. Emotional appeal that speaks to positive or negative concepts rather than the real issue at hand. Ambiguity. Using double meanings or ambiguities of language to mislead or misrepresent the truth. Anecdotal Using personal experience or an isolated example instead of a valid argument, especially to dismiss statistics. Appeal to ignorance Assumption that whatever cannot be proven false must be true. No one can prove that the Loch Ness Monster doesn't exist, so therefore, it does exist. Argument from Omniscience 
An arguer would need omniscience to know about everyone's beliefs or disbeliefs or about their knowledge. E all people believe in something. Everyone knows that. Appeal to faith. The arguer relies on faith as the basis of his argument. Faith relies on a belief that does not rest on logic or evidence but irrational thought and produces intransigence. Appeal to nature. This argument goes that because something is natural, it must be better. Appeal to tradition. A proposal that something should continue because it has traditionally existed or been done that way. Just because people practice a tradition says nothing about its viability. X. We've always done it this way. Argument to authority. Appeal to consequences. An argument that concludes a premise as either true or false based on whether the premise leads to some desirable or undesirable consequences. X. Some religious people believe that knowledge of evolution leads to immorality, therefore, evolution proves false. Appeal to emotion Occurs when emotions or emotionally charged language is used in an attempt to persuade the reader manipulating an emotional response in place of a valid or compelling argument. Argument from adverse consequences Asserting that an argument must be false true because the implication of it being true false would create negative results x. We should judge the accused as guilty, otherwise others will commit similar crimes. Argumentum ad baculum Appeal to force arguments that distract by making the audience afraid of the consequences of disagreeing with the speaker. Bandwagon a fallacy which assumes that because something is popular, it is therefore good, correct, or desirable. Begging the question. False dilemma. Either or, black-white, a fallacy of oversimplification that offers a limited number of options when in fact more options are available. X. We can either stop using cars or destroy the earth. Burden of proof. Circular reasoning An argument in which the writer, instead of supplying evidence, simply restates the point in other language, rather than proving it. X. Students should not be allowed to park in lots now reserved for faculty. BC those lots should only be for faculty. Composition fallacy Confirmation bias Confusion of correlation and causation the fallacy fallacy Genetic fallacy Have truths A statement usually intended to deceive that omits some of the facts necessary for an accurate description. Hasty generalizations A conclusion based on insufficient or biased evidence. In other words, you are rushing to a conclusion before you have all the relevant facts. Size of the sample is too small to support the conclusion next. Even though it's only the first day, I can tell this will be a boring class. Loaded questions Asking a question that has an assumption built into it so that it can't be answered without appearing guilty embodies an assumption that, if answered, indicates an implied agreement X. Have you stopped beating your wife yet? Middle ground fallacy Assuming that the middle position between two extremes must be correct simply because it is the middle position. Moral equivalence Compares minor problems with much more serious crimes X. That parking attendant who gave me a ticket is as bad as Hitler. Non sequitur Latin for it does not follow an inference or conclusion that does not follow from established premises or evidence. X. There occurred an increase of births during the full moon. Conclusion. Full moons cause birth rates to rise. No true Scotsman. Personal incredulity. Saying that because one finds something difficult to understand that therefore it isn't true. X. Kirk drew a picture of a fish and a human and asked Richard if he really thought were stupid enough to believe that somehow the fish turned into a human through just random things happening over time. Post hoc ergo propter hoc. 
proving non-existence. When an arguer cannot provide it the evidence for his claims, he may challenge his opponent to prove that it doesn't exist. Red herring. Rification fallacy. When people treat an abstract belief or hypothetical concept as if it represented a concrete event or physical entity X, IQ tests as an actual measure of intelligence X, the concept of race. Slippery slope. Special pleading. Straw man. The Texas sharpshooter. 2 co Q. Avoiding having to engage with criticism by turning it back on the accuser, answering criticism with criticism. Use mention error. Confusing a word or a concept with something that supposedly exists. Lyric poem. Commonly defined as a short poem that expresses personal feelings, a type of poem characterized by brevity, compression, and the expression of feeling. A poem that expresses the feelings or thoughts of a speaker rather than telling a story. X. Shakespearean sonnets. Magical realism. Maxi lesson. Menubin satire. Melodrama. Memoir. A record of events written by a person having intimate knowledge of them and based on personal observation and autobiographical account of one's personal life and experiences. Metonymy. Motif. Metaphor. Mind mapping. Mug heroic. A satirical imitation or burlesque of the heroic manner or style imitating the style of heroic poetry in order to satirize an unheroic subject satirizing the heroic style of literature. Monologue Morphology The study of the structure of words free morpheme equals a simple word only consisting of a single morpheme can stand on its own as a word. Naturalism Chomsky Performance of Language Chomsky defines the performance of language as that which people actually say. This does not have to be grammatically correct but does convey meaning. Chomsky Stages of Language Development 1. Perlinguistic 2. Holophrastic 3. Two-word 4. Telegraphic 5. Intermediate Development 6. Adult Telegraphic Stage Lung development period in which the child may omit some syllables in words, substitute sounds, and use only a pivot word with other words, much like a telegram. Types of nouns Common, abstract, collective, compound, concrete, non-countable mass nouns, gender-specific, verbal nouns, gerunds. Common nouns Used for class of person, place, or thing. Abstract nouns. Things you cannot see or touch, for example, bravery, joy. Collective. Words to describe groups, for example, team, choir. Compound nouns. Nouns made up of more than one word, for example, court martial, pickpocket, water bottle. Concrete nouns. Names a thing that is tangible. Concrete nouns can be either proper or common. Non-countable nouns slash mass nouns. Things you cannot count, for example, food, music. Gender-specific nouns. Nouns which are definitely male or female, for example, boy, bull, vixen, actress, cow. Verbal nouns. Nouns derived from verbs, for example, a building, an attack. Gerunds Nouns that represent actions, for example, running fast, guessing a number. Noun genders Masculine, feminine, common, if it refers to a member of species which can be male or female, neuter, if it refers to a member of a species, or a lifeless object which is neither male nor female.
Novella. A short narrative generally between 50 and 100 pages long. Onomatopoeia. Defined as a word which imitates the natural sounds of a thing creates a sound effect that mimics the thing described making the description more expressive and interesting. Order of importance. In this pattern the information is given either from the least important feature to the most important or from the most important feature to the least important also known as hierarchical or chain of command. Orthography Relationship between spelling and pronunciation A method of representing the sounds of a language by written or printed symbols. Oxymoron Figure of speech in which two opposite ideas are joined to create an effect, for example, jumbo shrimp a figure of speech that combines opposite or contradictory terms in a brief phrase. Overstatement Also called hyperbole, a type of verbal irony in which the speaker exaggerates, says more than what he or she means. Paradox Parts of speech Nouns, verbs, pronouns, adverbs, adjectives, prepositions, conjunctions, interjections, articles, determiners. Determiner. Parallelism. Use of components in a sentence that are grammatically the same or similar in their construction, sound, meaning or meter, adds balance and rhythm to sentences, giving ideas a smoother flow and thus can be persuasive because of the repetition it employs. Pastiche Using the form or style of another author, generally in tribute piece of literature or music imitating other works. Peroration The concluding part of a speech typically intended to inspire enthusiasm in the audience. Persona a theatrical mask can be defined in a literary work as a voice or an assumed role of a character that represents the thoughts of a writer or a specific person the writer wants to present as his mouthpiece. Personification Figure of speech in which a thing, idea, or animal is given human attributes. Non-human objects are portrayed in such a way that we feel they have the ability to act like human beings. Phonetics the study of sounds of language and their physical properties. Phonology The analysis of how sounds function in a language or dialect. Picaresque Telling a story about the adventures of a usually playful and dishonest character, type of fiction dealing with the episodic adventures of a usually roguish protagonist. Pigeon language is a simplified language that develops as a means of communication between two or more groups that do not share a common language. Means of communication, no native speakers. Plot Pragmatics The role of context in the interpretation of meaning mastering the rules for social language. Pre-Raphaelite movement Sought to bring sensuality back into poetry by using lush fell sounds and sensuous description. Process writing Prosody Study of the elements of poetry, rhyme, the rhythm, meter, and stanza form. Quatrain Type of stanza or complete poem consisting of four lines many variations. Reader Response Theory A form of literary theory that focuses on the reader and their interpretation of written works. There are different camps that believe the reader has more control over the derived meaning of the text than others. Recension The selection of the most trustworthy evidence on which to base a text after researching all the possible material. Recently a gospel according to Judas was presented and studied for evidence of authenticity. Much of the text was missing and plausible fillers were proposed. Reciprocal teaching Occurs when dialogue takes place between the SS and the teacher and participants take turns assuming the role of the teacher. Refrain the repetition of a line or phrase at the end of several stanzas of a poem. Regionalism 
a word or phrase used by a population in a particular region. Rens. A memory device to check for specific concrete details, reason, examples, names, numbers, senses. Rhyme scheme. A regular pattern of rhyming words in a poem. Internal rhyme. Occurs within a single line of poetry rather than from line to line. Iambic pentameter. A metrical pattern in poetry which consists of five iambic feet per line. X. When do slash account slash the clock slash that tells slash the time. X. Shall I slash compare the slash to a slash summer's day? And a best. U slash a metrical foot consisting of two unaccented syllables followed by one accented syllable, usually used in a light or whimsical poetry, such as a limerick. Trochee slash a foot with two syllables, with the first stressed and the second unstressed. Iamb U slash one unstressed syllable followed by one stressed syllable. Masculine and feminine rhyme. Masculine rhyme and feminine rhymes are terms that come down from earlier literary analysis. Masculine rhyme uses one-syllable words to give the feeling of strength or to add impact. Feminine rhyme is more likely to use two or more syllables. This gives a feeling of softness and lightness. Rhyme rule A stanza of seven ten-syllable lines, rhyming above, popularized by Chaucer. Romana Clef these novels use characters based on real people and events based on real-world events in fictional guise. Authors may use this form for a satire or to comment on social issues or scandals. Rondo A 15-line poem made up of three stanzas. Each line of this type of poem has 8 to 10 syllables. Sarcasm Scansion Describing the rhythms of poetry by dividing the lines into feet, marking the locations of stressed and unstressed syllables, and counting the variables process of analyzing the number and type of feet in a line. Satire Second language learners Self-regulated strategy development an instructional method that includes building background knowledge, discussing and modeling a strategy, memorizing the strategy, and supporting the practice of the strategy until SS can use it independently. Semantics The study of linguistic meaning focuses on the relationship between words, phrases, signs, or symbols and what they stand for. Sentence types Simple, compound, complex, compound, complex. Simple sentence. Contains only one independent clause. Compound sentence. Contains at least two independent clauses which are joined together by conjunction. Complex sentence. Contains one independent clause and at least one dependent clause. Compound complex sentence Contains two or more independent clauses and at least one dependent clause. Spatial order Soliloquy Sestet A stanza or poem of six lines. Sprung rhythm Form of accentual meter accentual meter strong stress meter equals number of stressed syllables in a line is fixed but no. Spencerian stanza Developed by Edmund Spencer fixed first form each stanza contains nine lines total, eight lines in iambic pentameter followed by a single line in iambic hexameter rhyme scheme A B A B B C B C C. Stages of the writing process Pre-writing, writing drafting, revising, editing, publishing, evaluating. Pre-writing stage. Stage where you brainstorm to make topic lists. You can use other graphic organizers like webbing and concept mapping. You can use raft to roleplay. 
Writing slash drafting stage. Revising stage. Stage where you add or omit information to make your paper clearer stage.